Well, here we are in uh, Christmas Island, and uh, this is what we've come here for. We're on one of the flats just off the, the mainland there, and this is why you come bone fishing, you come to Christmas Island for a place like this. We're with English from Ikari House, and uh, that was literally our first cast. <laughs> He's only a small bone, this one he'd probably only be a pound, you know, a couple of pounds, something like that. But uh, English assures me that we're going to come across fish here, they're going to be you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine pounds. So, uh, just a stunning fish to target. Quite a small little fish, but ideally just hard to see on the screen, but in real life these are as chrome as you can imagine. And that's how good the, the guides are. Like we can see, like I can see it as a blur or a dark green shape. English can actually see them when they tilt their body to eat the fly. Fish on, and they've got it in their mouth. So uh, yeah, there's still a lot to learn with this bone fishing, but it's just something, you're just, you're just gonna love it. That's on that uh, crab pattern that we uh, yeah. just worked a treat. Yeah, it was interesting, uh, English said that uh, my first initial strip was too long and uh, you had to keep it short, short, short. I guess that's how a crab moves. But uh, it was certainly good and keep a low profile. So that's the uh, second run. <laughs> nice. Beauty. Nice. This fish was tailing from about 90 feet away, and uh, but with the conditions, we kept losing him, losing him. But English assured me just to steady steps, just be patient, keep a low profile, and uh, crab pattern. <laughs> did the trick. It's on it. Have you got it? Yeah. Right, okay, there we go. Marvellous. Pick it, pick it, pick it. That's good. So we've got one, we've had the teasers. <laughs> going there and we've had a couple of fish come up to them so you've got to just rip those teasers back out and then that fly's got to get down there oh. just it's a little bit hard to cast that rough stuff. But you get him to hook up and, and that's uh, that's good that's good that's a solid drag a solid solid drag so aggressive at it he'd had a couple of goes at it this one, you still got plenty of go with the good gear. I mean, the good, good reel. I talk about it a lot. Oh, now he's actually woken up. But the good rod, you can just put a lot of pressure on it. It'll really work. And if you look way in that distance, you'll come up again. A sail. That's just beautiful. I'm winding out here where the line's going, and there's a sailfish jumping. <laughs> about 300 metres in that other direction. Now this is definitely not a brown trout from the Matara. 
just, they just with such power and he's taken off and we'll, we'll try and get a little bit of uh, line back on the reel, but such a, this is what you need a big reel like that for. That's a, a Galvin Torque, which is probably one of the best reels in the world. And it needs to be when you're tackling fish like that. And there's about 600 metres of backing and I reckon he's used about 400 of it straight away. So that was incredible, incredible. And that, the hookup, just when it when it goes, it just hit it at a thousand miles an hour, and you really had to be hanging on to this rod because uh, he was just about going to rip it out of my hands. That's pretty important too. With you want a decent rod, this is a uh, a Thomas and Thomas Horizon. It's one of the saltwater models, and it's a uh, it's a 14 to 16 weight, which is exactly for tackling pretty big fish like this. It's, it's uh, seems quite stiff to try and cast at the start, but um, once you've got a fish on it like this, she certainly puts a bend in it. And as you can see, it's a, it's a, it's a different setup. You've got the uh, like a, a fighting butt, which you can really tuck in to your belly there and put a lot more pressure on. And it's an extra long handle. So you can put a lot more purchase on it and really put a bend in that rod and really work that fish a lot more. So uh, th this sort of fishing, you've got to have the right gear. It's not just a... You're not going to go to a, a supermarket and buy the, the gear that you need. You've got to get some quality stuff, and that's when you're going to have a lot of fun. You know, on this a fish of a lifetime, something as big as this, you know, it's just amazing. Uh, it's, well, it's just amazing. You know, so you want to, you know, have as many things in your favour as you can. And getting the right gear is the best way to start. There's not much you can do. You've got such a big, powerful fish. All you can do is put as much pressure on that rod and wind up slack when you can. It's a pretty sizable fish. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know, it looked massive when it was jumping way down there, so I don't know how big it is, but it's big enough to uh, make me happy anyway. You can see that lovely orange fly right in his gob. Just working him in here. That is amazing. <laughs> yes! Look at that. That is a beast. Look at that. That's just amazing. I mean, that's, I mean, fly fishing, that's incredible. A sailfish is something amazing, you know, like it's uh, bonefish, there's trout. But to knock over a sailfish, something like that, that's incredible. That's incredible. And that's why you do it. That's why you come to Christmas Island. You get a fish like that, that's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Holy sail out, that's it. That's it? Yep. Marvellous. That's a belter. Absolute belter. Yep. All good. Okay. fish. Excellent. And there it is, there it is. So that's uh, all our mate, big team effort there, did everything there with the, the teasers and the steering the boat. Everybody had a go and that's what needs to happen on chasing the fish like that. It's a lot of work to go into it. But when it pays off, you get a, a lovely fish like that, well then it's, it's all worthwhile. You know, you can, uh, just amazing. That's why you fly fish. Just incredible, incredible. Just they see it, they're so aggressive. They chase after it, amazing, amazing fish. The target. 
because you know Christmas Island has got look like everything. You don't just have to come here and just target bonefish. You've got actually everything else. And you're about, you know, fish as well. So never, get, never get sick of catching fish in a place like this. Circle now rather than shoot out back to the ocean, so uh, we're almost getting the upper hand, but he's still just got a bit of kick. They just have a bit of weight to them, just with that depth of their body, they just go that side on. Island GT. Magnificent. 25, 25 pounds, yeah. Solid fish. And they uh, that's got him right in the corner there. And it's a big fly. You need something that's going to attract their attention. And something a bit of colour and a bit of flash, and that's certainly worked it well. So but it's a, yeah, a lovely specimen. It's a Christmas Island GT. the fish come on come on come on fish come on swimming Right, come on. Come on. One is. Yeah! That's it. Oh, no. Here we go. And that's, uh, that's tuna fishing. And then we get it on to there. And we'll see how deep this uh, is. Fantastic. Oh! And there was uh, plenty of fish through there and it's amazing how quickly the backing comes out and he's only a little one too but they're just powerful fish i mean it's just incredible power that you can get off these fish and that's a that's a solid drag it's a solid drag that's all about the hookup and off they go fantastic And you can just, I mean, you shouldn't be greedy, so you're fighting one here and you're looking at that school over there and you know there's plenty more 
you just want to get him in and uh, get onto the next one. Actually, this one doesn't know he's hooked, he's still feeding, he's going back to the school. Just incredible. Just when you think, oh, they're about tired and you've turned them a bit, he just takes that other lunge. Now we've got a bit of go. Perfect. Excellent. Just footballs. Thanks, mate. Oh, there's a bit of weight in that. Good. The only thing he hasn't got written is TW Sharon on the uh, the side of that, and he's pumped up to full pressure. Just incredible strength, and just silver as anything. You know, just on one side, they are just so sleek. Just incredible. Yeah, just an an amazing fish, the tuna, and so many different species to catch. So they're just terrific. When you do come to Christmas Island, you will need a selection of different flies. What works on one flat or even for one pot of fish won't work on another lot. So you need variations in colour and weights as well. So, I mean, that's something that we used over the course of a few days. Just different colours go from orange, which might work perfectly, um, you know, onto silver. And then there's some other special little ties as well. We had a little favourite here, which I'll show you close up, is a, uh, one of our crab packs, which was fantastic. So have a range on hand, and you're going to come up trumps to a lot of these fish. We also, uh, these, funny enough, are a little bit big for the bonefish. We use these for trevally, something, a nice big flashy profile, um, and it's something really going to attract some attention and create them to, to strike at it. So have a good selection of flies, and you're going to catch as many fish. We tend to use like an eight weight, something with a, a, a bit of power because you can quite often uh, have a bit of wind as well. So we get an eight weight and like a decent reel. It's gotta be a good waterproof drag because they do give it a workout. We also tend to use a lot of things like a buff to protect against the sun. A decent set of glasses. We, we quite often use like the Makos and I find like the, the trout lens, which is like brown, is probably one of the best to highlight the bonefish. Uh, and quite often we'll just use like a little bum bag as well, which is just handy to hold all your gear and uh, very important too, a water bottle holder. So uh, you need to drink a lot of liquids when you're here as well, so that make sure that you're not dehydrated uh, and you're just gonna love it. So get the right gear, and it's gonna really improve your fishing, make it a lot more fun. Bonies probably know, four or five pounds of just solid muscle and that's giving us a really good workout so we're getting back in the water but that's a stunner an absolute stunning fish so just lovely green back they're just stunning in, in the, the light I'm not sure how it'll come on TV but yeah, just it's amazing it's amazing just a good solid fish 